Welcome back to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. I, of course, am your host, KC Phoenix, and it is time for a tarot reading for the collective. I was debating if I was doing the quick three today or not, but since I'm using two decks, I'm using my um, Zodiac Oracle deck, and then I'm using one of the regular tarot decks. I think it's the Lightseers deck, or Healing Light deck is what it is, the tarot deck I'm using. Okay. So, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. Also, all of the December readings are up as well for all of the signs. The General readings, the love readings, and the money readings are up. If you're a Sagittarius, you receive the bonus reading for every single one. Um, Also, collective readings are up. Full Moon and Gemini collective reading is up, which is actually happening on the 8th. We're already starting the process of the full moon, but it's officially on the 8th of December. So, I've been... My throat's been acting funny. And I feel it's because of the weather change. Because it was like... 30 degrees and now it's like 50 to 60 degrees <laughs> it's like wait what so yeah but anyways yeah whatever reading you watch or listen to take what resonates and leave what doesn't now for the zodiac oracle there's something going on with the taurus because when i pulled the deck because i tell you i go to what decks i'm drawn to and i always look at the bottom of the deck when i pull it out on the bottom of the deck for this oracle deck taurus was on there but then On the top of the deck, because when I was preparing to shuffle, the top card came off. It was Earth. So Taurus was on the bottom. Earth was on um, the top. And then I shuffled. Like, and for those of you, my Firebirds, you know how I shuffle. I don't do just the... No. I break my cards up into like four or five, six, seven, eight columns. And then, you know, just start placing them throughout the columns randomly. And then I put the cards back together. Guess what showed up on the bottom again? Taurus. I kid you not. After I did a very thorough shuffle. So there's definitely something going on with the Taurus. Also, I heard there may be something going on with a full moon in Taurus, which that's weird. We had the full moon in Taurus not too long ago. That was because the um, full moon in Gemini. is So full moon in Taurus was last month. So that's interesting. Maybe something connected to the full moon in Taurus. If you had some type of intentions or wishes or something you were looking to manifest, maybe there was something that you put out then and you might be seeing it, um, the benefits of that are starting to see, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not results. It's another word besides results. It's not coming to me though. But you're starting to see like little little signs, little signals that, oh, okay, this is like coming together. It is what you're starting to see. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at on that. And then usually with the full moon and the new moon, between the full moon and the new moon, there may be something significant. So the new moon in Taurus, which would happen towards the middle of the year, there may be something significant. Also for the tarot cards, Six of Pentacles came out So that's more happiness. Also with the Zodiac card, the sun came out too. The sun has been coming out a lot. I've done a few readings over the past few days and the sun card came out in what? Two decks, three decks, something like that. I know it was at least two decks, um, two different decks it came out in. So yeah, it was the Oracle deck and then it came out in the deck itself. Um, The other deck, the, the tarot deck. So yeah, sun card is coming out a lot. So there's a lot of happiness. Also, I feel there's a lot of confidence going on too as well where people are being more confident in the things they do I also feel that there are some people who they're not waiting on others to co-sign what they do because with sun energy with the sun it's all about you because that's what it is the planets revolve around the sun not the other way around so it's all about you and for some of you you're not waiting for anybody to co-sign your dreams, your actions, your um, your goals, whatever it is that you're doing, you, you're not caring if anyone co-signs or not. Now, I'm going to tell you, another energy I did pick up 
is I feel like there might be some paranoia for somebody or maybe some of you where you feel like someone is always out to deceive you. Like they're always trying to get something from you. And I'm telling you, that's not always the case. You, it's okay to, you know, give the side eye every now and then, but not everyone is out to get you. So just keep that in mind too. Let's go ahead and get into this. Energy for the collective. Energy for the collective. <sighs> Energy for the collective. What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? That one almost came out. But it didn't quite make it. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Wow, there's some earth energy going on. So first card to come out is Virgo. So Virgo energy. It's kind of interesting too. Again, full moon in Gemini. Don't forget Virgo and Gemini are ruled by the same planet, which is Mercury. So... There may be something going on with that in regards to communication. Also, some of you may have Virgo in your chart or you may be a Virgo or dealing with the Virgo. Okay. Leo was at the bottom of the deck. Some of you, if this is resonating with you, if you're a Virgo, you might be a cusp. So your, your birthday is sometime in, in August, like maybe the 20th, 21st, something like that. Thank you. And what... It, you can't make this stuff up. what I tell you? Look what came out. Mercury. what I tell you? I'm just a person reading the energy in the cards. That's all I'm doing. So, yeah. Definitely communication. And now that's a confirmation for me as well. So, there is something significant that will more than likely happen around this full moon. If it isn't the actual goal or the actual wish or whatever this is that you seek... It will be something that shows um, traces of growth, where, where there's something showing that, okay, something's growing here. It, whatever, this, um, whatever this is that you're looking to nurture, it's almost like, you know how when a seed, you plant a seed, and then slowly but surely it starts to grow and it breaks through the ground for the first time, like you can see it breaking through the ground after you've watered it, after you've done everything you need to do, fertilized it, so on and so forth, and you, you've cared for it. That's kind of how I feel about whatever you put into the universe. I also, again, feel like this may have went out during the full moon in Taurus. Like some of you had something during the full moon in Taurus, and now we're moving into the full moon in Gemini, and there's something... Also, I heard something where if you were looking for an off-ramp for something... There may be some communication during this full moon in Gemini that may come in that will give you an off ramp. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I didn't even check the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck is Sagittarius. We're in Sagittarius season. So, yeah, this is another confirmation for me. You may hear something this month. I feel like this may be an off-ramp thing. Going back to the Six of Pentacles out in the pre-shuffle, I feel like this might be an off-ramp thing. Let me take a few cards from the tarot deck and we'll wrap this up. May I have the energy for the collective? May I have the energy for the collective? <sighs> energy for the collective. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? At the bottom of the deck I'm seeing right now is the Queen of Wands. I'm about to do a three split, but I just wanted to say that because don't forget Sagittarius as well. 
Queen of Wands is very magnetic. Also, the Queen of Wands is very confident. Something's telling me to take this card. I don't know what it is. I'm going to set it to the side. And now, bottom of the deck is, whoop, whoop, Ten of Cups. After the split, Ten of Cups. So, yeah, something that brings extreme happiness, because don't forget, the sun has been coming out a lot. And I'm going back, I guess I'm taking all three of these. Fine. Okay. So, I'm going back to what, mm, 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 mm. what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Come through. What did I tell you? First card that came out, Seven of Pentacles, which is about nurturing, investing, waiting for something to grow. What did I tell you? This thing, I feel like there is an off-ramp. That is what I feel like this is. There's some type of off-ramp. Again, Pentacles, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And then, after that, guess what? Didn't I tell you with Mercury, there's probably going to be some type of communication coming in. Mercury came out during the reading. We have a full moon in Gemini, which is related to Mercury. Virgo came out in the reading, which is related to Mercury. Now, what's here? Page of Swords. Page of Swords definitely brings messages. Also, does research and, and gathers information and receives messages, too. Also, can be about spying. I'm going to go back to, for some of you, where you feel like you're being watched or like everyone's out to get you. Now, in some cases, somebody could be spying on you. I mean, the Page of Swords is here, but I don't feel like everyone's spying on you or, or like everyone's out to get you. I don't feel that. Um, but with the Page of Swords, this is a message coming in. What, what did I tell you? And then, guess what else came out? After the Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. You can't make this up. You can't make it up. This is pretty much exactly what I was talking about. Now, the card I set to the side, let's see what this is. Wow. The star. I told you. <laughs> something, something. It's amazing how I get these little things where something's like, take this card. And I'm like, Am I really taking this card? Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> so, but this is, I didn't know what this was, but something told me to take it. And here it is. It's the star. It's about healing. It's about hope. It's about faith. Faith. It's about a wish fulfillment, a wish coming true. So, yeah, it's also about um, direction. Because don't forget the North Star, where it's guidance. And I honestly feel that's kind of what this is, this off-ramp is. Where some type of communication comes in and says, hey, you could do this. And then you're like... I didn't know that. I can do that? Oh, well, okay, well, let's go this way. <laughs> so, yeah, I honestly feel it's an off-ramp is what this is. Whatever this communication is that gives you that star energy after the investment that you put in and the information comes in where it takes you on that new journey because don't forget, aces are new. So it takes you on that journey to the Ace of Pentacles, which is about stability. Don't forget the Ten of Cups showed up too, which is about um, emotional fulfillment beyond your wildest dreams. That's what the Ten of Cups is. It's about family. Some of you might be thinking about starting a family. Also, something just said to me, somebody might be finding out that they're pregnant. Don't forget that the sun did come out in the pre-shuffle in the Zodiac Oracle. So, that might be the news you get too. What's at the bottom of the deck here? You can't make this up. You can't make it up. Four of Wands. Somebody's starting a family for real. With the Four of Wands and the Sun and the Ten of Cups. Oh yeah, somebody's starting a family. But for those who aren't starting a family, this is about commitment. This is about upgrading. This is about stability. Is what this is. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Page of Swords is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Specifically Aquarius. So, Yeah. That is the energy. It's an off-ramp. And that's what I'm titling this, an off-ramp. All right, so that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.